One of the bills I would like to introduce is banning chlorpyrifos. Chlorpyrifos is a very potent, dangerous pesticide, insecticide, that is related to sarin gas. I mean, they, they act just the same way. Their, their research was, came from the same research. So, you know, the, the acute toxicity of the two are the same. They'll kill you the same way. Now, it's a little safer than sarin gas in terms of acute toxicity, uh, but, you know, it, uh, it works the same way. The, the other thing that uh, chlorpyrifos does is it causes injuries in the fetus, severe injuries, and that's called a teratogenic effect. So that was recognized here in the United States and New York when chlorpyrifos are used extensively in through the buildings and apartments of roaches and other insects. So they banned, the EPA actually banned it for indoor use uh, in 2001. Europe was slower, but they've now banned it entirely except for one tiny use. Yeah. So uh, our EPA was opposed to issue a similar ban this year based on a huge body of research, but uh, our president appointed Scott Pruitt to the EPA and he stopped that ban. Our island actually is more chlorpyrifos than Kauai does, even with all the seed corn companies. So I, and it's, you know, there are safer things, there are replacement things for this, there are safer things. And, uh, you know, EPA was supposed to ban chlorpyrifos, but because of the, the appointment of Scott Pruitt, it was uh, Stahl and of course Dow Chemical, the maker of chlorpyrifos, donated a million dollars to Trump's inauguration fund and the head of Dow was appointed to head up an industry advisory group. You know, all those things that are not very appealing about, the, you know, our current administration. So I, I plan to reinduce that, that bill this year because the EPA didn't do it. You know, last year they said, well, we're not going to pass it because the EPA is going to do it. So I'll, I'll reintroduce that. 